everybody knows about this young man now after that wonderful UK Championship victory over Luca Brussel. Completely different style of player to Mark Selby, who will probably look to tie Shaozin Tong up as far as possible. Never easy to predict, Phil, is it, early on in January, just the form of players and what you can expect to see from them, because obviously a lot of the snooker clubs will have been closed. So players, I think, who have a table at home have a decided advantage. Yes, of course, Shaozin Tong is based right here in the UK. He will have been practising, no doubt, at the academy over the festivities. As for Mark Selby, well, he's based right here in Leicester. Don't know how much practice he's put in over the Christmas period, but I'll tell you what, being involved in a, a group or two or even three this week will stand him in really good stead for the Masters next week. Yeah, good point there, Phil. It's a great chance for somebody like Mark Selby. Stuart Bingham, that sort of player who's in the Masters, to hone their game and get some good match play in against some of the other game's top stars. Mark Selby safety shot there finds the bolt cushion so good at doing that it makes such a difference as well when you're queuing tight off the bolt cushion it's very hard to strike the cue ball cleanly and you saw that there with Xiao Tong safety cue ball coming out of bulk no obvious harm done though unless there's a plant somewhere safety shots really open the frame up because the black is now available and red to spread nicely so a mistake here from Xiao Xing Tong could be costly well there oh, is a mistake Mark Selby four. I think that keyboard will be replaced by our referee Brendan Moore officiating here It's been a while now since he won the, the UK Championship, but this is only okay. his second match as UK champion. He didn't qualify for the Scottish Open. And then he lost in the first round of the World Grand Prix to Martin Gould, 4-2. What a performance, though, to win the UK title especially towards the, the end of the event. Finally fulfilling the vast potential every player on the circuit knew that Zhao Zintong had. Yes, just to go through the attributes that Zhao Zintong has. He's got a great temperament, fairly undemonstrative, doesn't give a lot away, but he's got a great cue action, a very flat cue action strikes the ball beautifully and he keeps very still on the shot and coupled with all that of course is the fact that he's got a terrific amount of ability and a little tactical tussle here with Mark Selby will do him no harm whatsoever in a week's time actually a, a week today he'll take on John Higgins in the first round of the Masters 
be a test, as of course will this. Yes, in fact, Xiao Tong defeated John Higgins in the UK Championships en route to victory. I think he was 5-3 down and won 6-5 as well, because I was playing, I think, against Andy Hicks on a neighbouring table. the black up again and the reds have become more bunched up as well this is a typical Mark Selby frame isn't it but there is a chance here for Shao Zinton to try and get that key of will in behind brown and yellow considerably thicker than intended. Mark Selby was just having a look there to see if the red that's nearest that right corner were cut in. Maybe it's just hidden by the blue. Ball, but as you can see that red that's near the right corner will certainly be interesting Zhao Xing Tong the problem being I can't see any likelihood of getting on a colour from it One. well sometimes you just have to trust to luck doesn't matter whether you've won the, the world championship or in just case the UK Championship, you need to pop the ball and then hope. Yeah, it worked out beautifully. Just cannoned one of the reds to the right of, or the left of the one that he potted. A half ball, which deflects Six. the cue ball up towards blue and pink. So all of a sudden now, first good chance in this frame has fallen to Xiaoxing Tong. Black's still tied up, but if you can somehow get that pink into play, I think if he pots the pink, it's spots occupied perhaps, so that would go on the black spot, which would help. Ooh, can he just Seven. jab this pink in? Is he straight enough on it to attempt it? You can see the pink spot there now is clearly visible, so that will be an open plate if you can knock this in. Thirteen. Yeah, they're just discovering what all of the players involved in Group 1 and 2 discovered the week before Christmas, that these tables are reactive. As is the case with the Champion of Champions, the tables being used are Rasson, produced in China. 20. There you can see, and I thought conditions pre-Christmas were excellent reflected in the fact that in the first two groups Dom we had 30 century breaks in total yeah, Twenty-one. absolutely Phil I commentated on group one and the centuries flying in all over the place the key thing for players they can accustom themselves to the way the bed cloth is playing the response out of the cloth the bed cloth and the speed of it but the cushion rails that's critical 27. 
If they're reliable and the players can trust the cushions to rebound at a, a set speed, 28. a consistent speed, <coughs> they can judge well, then, you know, heavy scoring and good positional play is always much more possible for them. Sometimes you get bad bounces, it can put you completely out of position on occasions. Having to concentrate on the pink here predominantly because the black's out of commission. 34. But this is a useful little contribution from Xiao Xing Tong so far. Can keep it going. Could just 35. about make enough from this visit to leave Mark Selby at the snooker's required stage. He's only beaten Selby on one previous one. occasion in a Championship League last year. Group 1, 3-0 he won. Their other Championship League meeting, Selby prevailed 3-1. That was in Group 3, the same as this, in last year's Invitational Championship League. As for meetings outside 42. of this tournament, Selby's dominated five wins out of five. Go back 48. a few years, Xiao Xing Tong was an even quicker player than he is these days. I've noticed two or three seasons ago he just slowed his rhythm down ever so slightly. 49. Walked around the table a little slower than he used to. Just took that extra bit of care on every shot that he played and I just thought that might hindrance him a little bit and take away some of his natural flair because he can e easily stifle that by changing 55. the game too much, but it seems to work for him. 56. You're absolutely right, Don. Players who radically slow down never improve. I think players who just take a little more time, such as him, they're the ones who benefit. And what a great shot that was. Now talk about making something from nothing here. Really good cannon to develop those three reds. Not a good kiss there, mind you, but he's in total control of the frame, even though he's not going to win it in a single visit. No, an unlucky cannon that time, but... Problem. Yeah. Now, why don't you play to stun him behind the yellow here and try and knock that round to the side cushion? And that's exactly what Xiao Xin Tong's tried to do here. And that will make Xiao things Xin doubly 63. difficult for Mark Selby. Appreciative of that contribution there from Xiao Xin Tong. It was a very good one. And it's put him to within a ball or so of winning this first frame. It's going to be a good start <coughs> for the Chinese contingent in general because over on table two, Zhao Gadong is just about to take a 1-0 lead over Stuart Bingham. Foul, the miss. Xiao Jing Tong for. Well, Selby missed those reds by a whisker. Selby would have to be an eternal optimist to think that he has any hope of winning this frame from the position of the balls. Yeah. Thank you. I don't know whether you heard that conversation between player and referee. Selby very sportingly saying no, the snooker was actually harder than where Brendan had replaced the cue ball initially. But 
I'll tell you what, Dom, we try and categorise players and say who's the best in a particular discipline. For me, when it comes to getting out of snookers and doing no damage, Selby is right at the top of the tree. Yes, I think all the great tactical players are in a situation like that. People like John Higgins, Mark Selby, of course, even Ronnie O'Sullivan, a terrific tactical player. The problem is, you know, you play on these tables all the time with a new cloth, and you just get to know them so well. I know this is a Rasson table, not the star table that we're more accustomed to, but there aren't that many differences really between them. It's the way the cloth is, it's brand new all the time, and uh, you can normally rely on the cushions, especially early on in a tournament where the cloth is absolutely brand new. Yes, normally with the Championship League, we play the invitation event at least in four day bursts. Now this is something unusual, six days of competition and it will be interesting to see how the tables are playing on Friday and Saturday. Much snooker under the bridge before then, though. Oh, he's played a great shot there, Mark Selby. Don't think Shaozin Tong can see any of the red below the green. It's an easy snooker to escape from, though, that little shelf of three reds on the top cushion there to play into. Wide target area. A little unlucky there. He's left a potable red on for Mark Selby. I'm sure we'll look to pot as many of these loose reds as he can do with high value colours. Then maybe leave that red that's near that right side cushion there to get the snookers. One. Doesn't actually need any snookers, but chances are if he doesn't get on that red that's near the right side cushion, he would snooker Zhao Zing Tong. Still enough on the table for him to win this first frame. And he just. 56 points behind now, 59 remain. Yeah, that does make life slightly easier. Seven. It does give him the option of the occasional pink or even one blue. But let's just assume, and it's a big assumption, Eight. that he does spot all of the reds with high value colours. He's then still got the problem of the green and brown. Just had a, an ideal angle there on the pink to play for the difficult red. Oh, good pot. We had to dig right down into the cue ball there. But he could do it taking the black now instead of the pink because he's running out of high value colours. Anytime he pots the pink, that's one less point available to him. As you can see, he's still. Actually, if he pots a pink, he'd be 42 behind with 43 remaining, so he would need two blacks. I don't think Mark will take anything on here, even if the red does pot to 21. the right corner. Mark's will be 21. Decent contribution, but he'd be very disappointed with that safety shot. Chance here for Zhao Xing Tong to pop the frame ball red he needs. And in it goes. One. 
He looks sharp, doesn't he? First impressions favourable. Now will Selby continue on? Shouting tongue. One. Of course. Chance to maybe stun him behind the pink here, but he'd have to be careful where the red goes. Yeah, that's why he'd play to stun him behind the green. A more difficult shot. But by stunning him behind the, the pink, if he didn't manage it, the red would have been near that green pocket. Where's this black? Oh my goodness me. You have to be so careful when you play Mark Selby. A mistake like that can end up costing him a frame because Mark Telby, as we all know, tactically, well, he knows everything about the game. Born out by this shot here. What a great shot he's played. Get the impression with Mark Selby. If he ever wanted to take up three cushion billiards, after a while he might be quite good. He's got that kind of mindset. Foul. And the Foul slight seven. miss from Zhao Zintong a little earlier might come back to bite him. Now just one snooker needed. And of course with that ball where he nearly knocked the black in. He also freed up the green and to a lesser extent the brown. Yes, One. Mark had a great angle to get down the table for the black there, but has the key will travel far enough? Can he still snick this in? Well, he could. It was important because one snooker's all that Mark Selby needs now to tie. He'd taken the pink there, and the other colour, he'd have needed an extra snooker. Eight. Incredible. I didn't give Mark Selby a hope of winning this frame ten minutes ago. Mark Selby, eight. I think the key to playing Selby is that when you get to a point where you have frame ball Dom you should really say to yourself it's frame ball plus at least another two to give yourself a comfort zone yes when you play Mark Selby in that sort of position you just want to pot enough so that you don't think he's going to return to the table basically Oh, but Mark's made a mistake here. He snooked himself on the green. Mark Selby, too. I also think that with Selby now, his reputation for stealing frames is so stellar that players might be getting a little nervous, more nervous against him than Three. against other players in this kind of situation, Dom. Definitely, and of course if he can steal a frame in this sort of fashion, psychologically it gives you a huge boost and completely deflates your opponent. Or oh, might be disappointed there. Trying to get the cube in behind the black, but got far too much stun on the ball. And finally now, Zhao Xinton looks as though he Mark will Selby win this first frame. Four. 
I'm afraid. Mark Go Selby ahead. this time does concede. And so that really well-crafted 63 break from Zhao Zintong means the UK champion leads the world champion 1-0. Pro Snooker in 2022 has begun. And one of the stories of 2021, Zhao Zintong has taken the opening frame against Mark Selby here on table one. Second frame. Mark Selby to break. Selby over the years has produced some really good performances against Jazz in Tong. They first met in 2015 at the Gibraltar Open. And it seems that every time they play, Selby plays nicely. In the last 64 of the European Masters in 2017, it was best of seven. How about this, Dom? Selby won 4 1 with four centuries. Yes, I think uh, if you can produce that sort of snooker, you're not going to lose many matches, are you? <laughs> I think, though, Mark Selby may be a little more wary of his opponent now, having seen him win the UK Championships in such terrific fashion. They have played at the Crucible. First round in 2019. Selby won 10-7. On that occasion, making three centuries. And it's things like that that can make such a difference. As to who wins a snooker match in a sort of short format like these best of fives. I mean, Xiao's missed that red there, but the red cannoned into the green and was left possible for Mark Selby. What? On another occasion, he could have <coughs> got away with that. Mark's just about got the right side of the blue, but no easy loose reds to play for here. I just wonder if that black's on into the right corner. He could get into the pack of reds here, Mark Selby, if he wished power shot off two cushions but he could play a delicate stun into that trio of reds well there is a loose one that's on he's played for the one behind the black as you can see and that tells me that that black must pot into Six. the same pocket wouldn't normally play that shot otherwise one of the characteristics of this table pre-Christmas was that 
falls across this top cushion were going in relatively easily. Seven. And that was beautiful, not just the pot, but the way he conceived the positional cannon. Yes, played the right shot there. Even if that black was on into the right corner, the cannon was the correct shot to play positionally. He's opened the black spot up area now and everything's on. Abundance of loose reds to play for. And this is Mark Selby's best 14. chance of the match for him so far. Fifty. So be looking to equalise. Has Stuart Bingham has done on table two against Xiao Gudong, aided by a break of fifty-five. Twenty-two. Just a bit of an observation, I would say early on. That these cushion rails are playing just a little slower than the players are expecting them to. 23. But definitely the bed cloth is playing beautifully. It's very lively and very fast. 24. Ah, what's he on here? anything on into this left corner if not that could be end of break it's the one that just goes through a gap there must be tight thirty one well as John Virgo always says there's there's always a gap I think, given the quality of the way he went into the reds, cushion first, I think he deserved to be on a red. But in the end, you have to say that was a little fortunate. Now can he take advantage of it? Seven. Don't think it'll worry Mark Sell Selby overly that the pink spot's occupied. It's had to go up in bulk onto the green spot. Thirty-eight. See there's nothing preventing the black from potting into its own pockets. But he needs to be a little bit careful positionally because all the reds, although they're free from one another, they're sort of blocking each other. time the cannon hasn't worked out too well for Mark. 45. Still has a choice of reds into either centre pocket but both very missable with hampered queuing. Took the red on into the green pocket so that he didn't have to queue over other reds. Chose wisely. And now, I think Mark Selby would be disappointed not to level this match up at one frame all in a short space of time. 51. Mark Selby played. I mean, you could 
say he's on a choice of four reds here. 58. Now all the hard work's done. Can he go on to make the first century of the day here on table one? commentator's curse. I must apologise Mr Selby. Selby. 58. Wow, just when he looks set to go on and level this match up, Xiao Tong is given a lifeline. In the first frame, Xiao couldn't win in a single visit. But when he left the table, Selby was snookered and the balls were horribly placed. Now, they're invitingly placed with the obvious exception of the green. One. Well, as a player, you always know that if you can win a frame like this and punish that mistake that the opponent's just made, it will really hurt Eight. them. And Kao Shao do that here. As you say, Phil, the green is the awkward ball. It could come to the saviour, or be the saviour of Mark Selby here. Nine. Of course, he might develop the green, but what I have noticed, certainly at the UK Championship, and indeed before that, Zhao is absolutely mustard when it comes to doubles. So if he 16. can't develop the green, that might be the fallback option. 17. Yeah, good point, Phil, because if you can get onto the yellow, you'd be pretty much guaranteed to leave yourself the chance of a double. Twenty. Caught an awful lot of that far jaw to the black, but at that pace pocket 25 accommodated and again Phil he's just gone a little low on the black because the side cushion just is sliding a little he will not coming off quite a straight shower of light but again no problem 32 but now must leave a good angle on the black to get on to the remaining red gone too low again here 33. and this is a problem not only is the black missable unless he can just drop it in and cannon the red into play you'll have to go around the angles here and then out of bulk 34. oh he's oh. found the corner pocket it was a good Going effort I have to 33. say the pot was good just not quite enough backspin on the keyboard to avoid the enough frame ball and now look at this playing it like that the only way he could have left the red was in exactly that manner and again one a second opportunity for Zhao but did you see how quickly the red just ran and ran and ran and left that potable red on for Zhao Tong. It's like lightning, this bedcloth. Now, as you say, Phil, Zhao Tong is very adept at double, doubling balls. Now, he's got a perfect opportunity here just to stun the yellow Eight. in, leave the key ball somewhere near the yellow spot to double the green. And if the green goes in, well, the frame will be at his mercy. way to play this I'd just be playing this at a control pace oh, wow I would never have played it that way oh dear run of the ball again Joe hasn't been favourable 10 
He let me down there badly. That was well wide. But for the second time, Selby unable to deposit frame ball. Amazing, Phil. And if Xiao Tong plays this with top spin, because these cushions are so new, this cue ball could just die off the bolt cushion and land nicely behind the pink. It has. Needs that green to slow down. I think that's a snooker. Terrific call, Dom. times we're going to see players make a mistake and not get away with them again that could have gone anywhere but he's left this simple green for Zhao Tong. if he gets onto the brown 2-0 beckons Selby going to be handed a taste of his own medicine. He's stolen countless Four. frames from unlikely positions. Now, though, Zhao just needs pink and black to steal the second from him. Just a moment's pause there tells me that he may be a little straighter on this pink than he wanted to be. May have to play a power stun screw back. So a little less backspin and a little more stun will widen the angle off the pink and enable the cue ball to travel towards the pink spot rather than towards the black. But is that shot on? No, it wasn't. He was dead straight. Now, where's the cue ball going to stop? Mm, that's not good. I don't think I'll be taking this on. A good safety shot here must be the order of the day. And all because of that lax positional shot from blue to pink. What a pot from Zhao Zintong. Dominic Dale and myself both thought he would play safe. But this boy is something special. That pot was something special. And he pinches the second frame from Mark Selby, who twice missed frame ball. Zhao Zintong leads 2-0.
it was a black ball frame. The overhead view just giving us some indication of how difficult it was with cue ball and object ball so close together. Even at this level, judging the potting angle, incredibly tough. But Zhao Zintong did it. He steals the second frame. Now he's breaking off in the third, looking to start his day, looking to start this group in ideal fashion. Yes, and that missed black from Mark Selby to the right corner has ended up costing him that frame. But he did have a chance himself to win it with that simple, for him anyway, frame ball green into the, its own pocket. But he overcut it. It was a very good black from Zhao Zintong. I did suggest the safety shot because it was such an easy safety shot to play well and put his opponent in trouble. Wow, an immediate mistake here from Mark Selby. Well, the black's tied up, but I don't think that'll worry Zhao Zintong. There are quite a few loose reds in open play. You can soon pot a few of the reds that are occupying the black spot and thereby get black ball position later on in the break. We've already seen how capable he is what? of making a break from <coughs> seemingly nothing. With that excellent 60-odd in the first frame. First thing to do, if he can, is to try and develop the pink spot area. Six. Seven. pink be available it certainly will be that's why Xiao Zintong cleverly played 30 the bottom red of the two together previously so now the pink is available which is important to Xiao Zintong because the black for the time being is out of commission but I've watched a lot of Xiao Zintong over the years it's remarkable to see how he's developed his game 40 capable of all kinds of mistakes a few years ago but he takes a lot more care now and walks around the table with a much slower rhythm almost like a, a Sunday morning stroll and it seems to have helped his game enormously a little more angle on the blue I think than he would have liked he may consider going into that little pack of six reds now oh he caught the pink first now how lucky will he have been here I think he'll be delighted with the way that's finished he's got a choice of two reds 25 one into the left corner one into the right corner down this side cushion problem is being left-handed, he can't reach it. Well, did the best he could. 26. I think now he will play a safety shot. Could play the green to the right-hand side cushion, get the cue ball in behind pink and yellow. Green ball. I was in town. 26. There's definitely been a maturing process. We wondered at some point whether it would ever happen because he was quite reckless. Still very adventurous and attacking. But at just the right times, he's finding the right shots. Foul. We miss. She was in town. Four. What a mistake from Mark Selby that was. He's missed the pack of reds and he's left one on here for Xiao Zintong. 
The moment he struck the cue ball there, Mark, he was off the shot immediately. Oh, beautifully played cannon from Shaozin Tong. One. The cannon there was almost more important than the pot in some regards in terms of his mental thinking. He put more effort into the cannon. This black respots and is available, and it is. I'm not sure Marcel will be coming back Eight. to the table in this match. Nine. He's the world number nine, is Zhao Zintong, due to those hefty UK Championship ranking points earned. And in that lofty position, I don't think he looks out of place. Sixteen. Now he's got an angle here to maybe stun into the red that's above the black to leave himself on one into the left corner. I don't know if he can screw into the pack with the angle he has. No, he had to play that shot and he's played it well. Now can he just deflect off that little group of four reds to be on the black again into the right corner 24. here? never know how they're going to work out again he just put so much effort and emphasis on the positional aspects of the shot almost took the pot for granted and missed it Selby's pulled so many frames so many matches out of the fire can he do it again Well, the answer would appear to be no. The loss of the second frame, demoralising. Can't tell you, by the way, that Stuart Bingham now leads Zhao Gudong 2-1. One. Looked a little off balance there, did Zhao Sintong. Maybe that explains why he didn't Get back on the correct side of the blue, but with the green being off its spot, had manoeuvrability. Six. <coughs> oh, this is the key shot for Xiao Xin Tong. Just red colour, red required. Oh, does he have any angle here to work with? He may, you know, just have a fraction. It's incredible how you can accentuate an angle when you've got very little to work with. Twelve. Frame ball. Thirteen. You know, during the first two groups, we had a very small amount of 3-0 results. One 3-0 in group one, four of them in group two. 20. We're going to kick off the coverage in group three 21. with a 3-0. And it's the world champion who's on the receiving end. 28 36 37 Tommy's a real talent isn't he he really is. He's a pleasure to watch as well. He's a beautiful cueist. Got a lovely rhythm and a pace around the table these days, and fully deserves to be in the top ten in the world because he, you know he's just he's so capable. Forty-five. 
to. Finishes off with a half century. The black to steal the second frame will be the abiding memory of that contest.